Afternoon cactus people and welcome to Ziggy's Cactus House. Now as it says I know this is a cactus house but today I've gathered a few succulents together because there's not much in the way of cactus flowers at this time of year but the succulents are flowering away quite happily. A lot of them probably because they come from South Africa and they think it's summer. Uh, but we start off with this one this is a Crassula hemispherica, which has got very interesting uh, leaves on the, on the base. Forms some nicely shaped rosettes. Uh, lovely little clusters of white flowers at this time of year. A slightly bigger one at the back. Next to him, not quite a succulent, but a euphorbia. I think this is Euphorbia Shirasius, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, which uh, has got some flowers, but they're quite, uh, they blend in with the rest of the plant. They're uh, the same colours on there. Uh, interesting, all the same. And behind that, not quite open yet, but uh, getting that way. That's a Pachyphytum compactum, I think. Lovely little uh, flowers on that one. And this one's quite a nice little thing. It's a Crashula multicarva. And this has been opening slowly for some weeks now. I think uh, I might have featured it on the um, just the single photos a few weeks back when it started to open. Uh, makes a pleasant change from nothing much going on at this time of year. All the rest of the plants are just waking up from the winter sleep. Bit of a floppy plant, but nice all the same. And behind that is um, Echeveria canna, which is not quite open yet. I, I was thinking about waiting to make this video for that one to open, but it might be a week or so before it does by which time the other flowers might have gone over by then so decisions decisions eh? but, there you go yeah aeonium not in flower yet but a lovely rosette on it if we have a look at the, the cactus themselves this uh, stemma cactus has got um, one, two, three, four, five flower buds on it. And this one, it's always a fight between the petals on the flowers and the uh, the spines on it because they tend to stop the flowers opening completely. So I might, that might have to have a little bit of a helping hand when it starts to uh, open. And this one, you may remember this from the winter. It had some cold damage and it went a very funny shade of green so I took it in and looked after it on my desk for the rest of the winter and uh, it's fine now. But, uh, it should be flowering in a few weeks. It's a um, Machicana Madisonorium I think. And the other parts, a few parodias are starting to uh, show signs of waking up and a few flower buds forming. Still some uh, seed pods on this uh, Mammalaria fraliana. I've got one seed pod seed that's actually germinated from this plant, despite planting uh, three or four seed pods all full of seeds, only one actually germinated. Well that's better than none, so that's good. Um, apart from a few tiny little budlets on uh, a few of the gymnocolysiums, that's about it for buds at the moment. Looking around, there's some sign of buds on um, the bigger Parodius down here. Some of you will know um, Alcho, my Parodia arabescens. He's one of my first cacti that I got. And it looks like it's gonna have about 10, 15 flowers maybe the buds 
and these two down here one is its first seedling and the other one's um, one of its first pups and last year they all flowered at the same time which is interesting and this one is a new addition this is a, a rescue one I got which is probably quite a few years older than Elcher and he's showing signs of three or four flower buds as well which would be nice I did find some old seed on this one but uh, so far it's not germinated I planted it about three months ago and the little Lenin Housey Eye it's also got some flower buds on it looking forward to seeing that that's never flowered before so that could be a good one as I say at the moment it's only the succulents that are flowering so I just thought I'd share those with you while they're still out. Thank you very much for watching everyone.